Hey guys, it's Godzilla again. Just wanted to show you uh, some of the progress we made with the CM7 on the Nook tablet. I'm um, just going to give you a quick demo of the uh, SD card option. So basically I'm running um, a rooted version of, of the stock Barnes & Noble firmware or software on here. And uh, it's uh, definitely stock. You can see here in the settings um, exactly what everybody else is going to be able to see from the Barnes & Noble software and uh, not too fun to play with, still pretty locked down. Uh, so, I'm going to shut it down and uh, I'll show you how we can use this little guy right here to open this baby up. Alright. So go ahead and power it off. Slip in the SD card. This is not uh, any SD card, obviously. This is one that has uh, CM7 installed on it. So there you go. You can see the um, second boot, box of second boot, booting up again. Now, the nice thing about this uh, version of CM7 is that uh, by running off the SD card, it's not going to interfere with any of your internal uh, setup. Uh, it doesn't interact with the um, internal memory in any way. And here you go. Now we do have uh, the internal media partition, that one gigabyte partition that you can normally get with Barnes & Noble's loaded. Uh, so you do have access to those files that you can go back and forth between um, stock and then this as well. So for anybody who's running the internal version of this, you'll notice that the boot up is just a little bit longer on uh, the SD card version. I also just did a cache wa uh, wipe um, from the SD card for a little bit of testing, uh, so that's probably why it's taking a little bit extra time. All right, here we go. So we have uh, pretty much full CM7 running here. We got Wi-Fi. Um, we have the market. Lots of apps. Um, I believe the GFX driver is actually working on this version. Still doing a little bit of testing to verify that. Um, but uh, this is uh, basically the gist of it. Uh, I've done some ben benchmarking. You can see that on the link below. If you want to see the scores, did pretty well. A little bit better than the Kindle Fire as expected, but not uh, nothing too stellar. So you're, like I said, you can play around with this uh, without interfering with your internal setup. So if you wanted to go back to your, your regular setup, you can uh, either power off here at the bottom. Um, if you do that, the device will shut down, and um, if you turn it back on without taking SD card out, you'll obviously come back to CM7, but you can also go here and go to reboot and do a regular, whoops, do a regular reboot. And I'll just quickly just show, it'll boot straight back up into the, uh, the stock version of the software. And there you go.
Just working on a few uh, few more bugs on this. Want to make sure the testing's done completely this time before before releasing. So um, we'll get this out as soon as we we're sure that we're not gonna uh, mess up anybody's anybody's tablets. So I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, thanks for watching.